Welcome back to News 15 today. Well, we love celebrating live music here on the show. Joining us now from Toops Talent is Angie Broussard and Jacqueline Quibido to talk about some happenings this weekend. Guys, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Let's go ahead and get into it. So we know there's always people playing music around Acadiana. Friend of the show, Sarah Russo, is having a big show this weekend in Lafayette. Tell us about that. Yeah, Sarah Russo, she's playing at the Feed and Seed in Lafayette. It's this Friday, July 30th. The doors open at 7. It's going to be a live uh, concert, live recording. Like I said, doors open at 7. It's $10 to get in, or we have uh, $15. That's a VIP ticket to get some of her free merch. Then at 8 o'clock, that is when Mid -City, Wave, Mid City Maven will start, and to follow will be the Sarah Russo Band. And so we would love everybody to come out. Like I said, doors will be, tickets will be sold at the door, $10 for a regular general admission or $15 for a VIP. Uh, get there early, limited supply on the on the merch. We'd love everybody to come out and see us again. Eight, 9 p.m. is when Sarah Russo Band kicks off. That'll be her full band. And eight is Mid City Maven. Well, we know there's some other artists that you guys that you guys uh, take care of here in Acadiana. What else we got going on? Uh, we have Wayne Toops this weekend. He's gonna be. It won't be local, but he'll be in Lake Charles. Uh, if y'all follow his page, y'all can get more details about like the times and the dates. We have uh, different artists like Chubby Carrier and uh, who's what's another one we have. Parker James, he's around as well. The best, the best places to see them is on their social media. You can reach out to Tube Style to get their times and their schedules. Well, awesome. Well, real quick, I know the pandemic was difficult for all musicians and you guys especially. How did you guys make it through that? Um, mostly, you know, it wasn't necessarily that um, with the pandemic that all the venues and stuff were shut down because as musicians, they'll they'll play anywhere. Um, it was more the mandates um, that they had set on all of the musicians of anywhere that they played. Um, and that's, they're resilient. They, um, you know, we all come back from all that and it was, it was rough, but they're making it through. Well, we appreciate you guys joining us and for all the hard work that you guys do getting musicians playing around Acadiana, entertaining and bringing joy to so many people. Hope you all have a great day and great weekend. You Thanks. as well. You Thank too. you.